Nothing drives me crazier than the race to the bottom. A bunch of makers buy the same file from the same place. They all make the same exact thing and everybody is pricing it cheaper and cheaper and cheaper to get that sale. How do we avoid that? Make your own stuff. Now I've made a bunch of ornament related content showing you how you can make your own ornaments however you want, differentiate yourself from the pack and get those sales. Here I'm gonna show you how to do the text around a circle on your ornament. Seems to be very popular. I think a lot of these are designed in Corel Draw or Adobe Illustrator or some something like that. Let's do it in Lightburn. So we're gonna take the ornament that we've been utilizing that we designed in the very first video in this series. Take that out of our art library. And this border out here is a quarter of an inch. We can utilize our measuring tool to see that that is 0.25. So probably going to want a little bit bigger of a spacing for this, but we'll see. So the way to do this is you get your text and you will start typing whatever text you want. Uh, looking for some descriptors sprots, sports, teamwork, integrity. Did I spell that right? Passion, dedication, determination. That is a lot to fit on that screen. Anyway, add whatever words you want to this. All right, so with the text, I'm gonna select that. I'm also going to select the circle and I am going to right click and apply path to text. And now we are currently on the underside there, but you can change your Y. So it's in the middle right now on the top. You can also change it to the bottom. You'll have to screw around with these uh, to figure out what looks good in your uh, situation. Your spacing is the spacing in between the letters and the, uh, the words. So let's decrease that spacing. And you can see we're getting a whole lot more words out of here. There you go. Now they are squishing together. We could probably even take a word out of here. I don't know. Height. So let's reduce that and then we can increase the spacing. Like I said, you'll have to screw around with this a little bit. Kind of get. So the other cool thing about this is you can edit this around this circle. So I think I want to add two more spaces in between each word. And then I'm going to reduce my spacing again. Reduce my size a little bit more. Let me up my size. We'll fix this in a second here. But I think that looks good. That separates the words from each other and it gets them around the object there or around that circle. So right now the text and the inner circle are connected. They are like joined together. They are one piece at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that inner circle, duplicate it. I'm going to bring that circle in a little bit by holding control and pulling from the corner. Then I'm going to select that inner circle there and I'm going to color that something that's not going to be colored. Now you can see there's separation on the top, uh, but the spacing on the bottom is not separated, like especially in this P. So let's fix that here and this G and this Y. Let's fix that. So let's select that circle. And like I said, these two are joined right now. Hold down control select the corner and just bring it in a little bit. It's gonna alter your circle a little bit. It's gonna alter your words. But again, we can fix that. So now there's spacing on the bottom. There's some spacing on the top here. Let's select the text and in decrease, I'm sorry, decrease your spacing a little bit. There you go. Now, if we preview this, uh, let's make sure there's output on those. All of your letters and your words are going to engrave and then your ornament itself is going to cut out. Another thing you can do with these is we have spacing in between the words and that's great. Uh, you can also add a dash in between them and then take one of those spaces away. Dash and delete, delete. And we'll have to reduce those spacing on that. There you go. So another thing we can do here is save this as a template or a base for our ornament so that we can add on to this in the future. This took a short amount of time to build Adding it as a template in our art library and then building onto it will take even shorter amount of time. So let's do that. Take this entire thing and then we'll just say ornaments, import graphic from project. And I would like this to be our sports base ornament. There you have it. Now we can go in here and delete that. And if I want to start from that position when I open up a new file uh, or open up a new project, uh, 
that's where I'll be and I can build off of that. And that's how you would add letters around your ornament in order to get that uh, effect. If you've made it this far, I really appreciate you sticking around. Stay tuned for more how to design your own ornaments and stuff so you don't have to buy everybody else's crap. Peace.